Yo, it's your boy Adam. In today's video, we have got a Bulaya player review. I really recommend that you do this SBC because he is really cheap and extremely meta and fun to use. That's the main thing because he's five star four star, so he's fun and he absolutely rips it off. So we're gonna start off this player review with our foot champs highlights of us using him and just watch this bit here. A lot of people saying he's got bad reactions. I've got tackled. He got the ball back. Someone runs into me and they can't barge him off and he gets the ball back. So reactions, in my opinion, is not really an important stat this year. Defenders never react to anything first so yeah we'll show you how well he done for us in foot chance weekend league then we'll compare him to some other players i'll show you how he fits in our team look at the chemistry styles that sort of stuff so let's concentrate on this a little bit more we've got the ball up to neymar at the moment and i was playing in a, i was starting this in a 4-2-3-1 with these guys so neymar was the cam scoop turn there unbelievable shot i don't know how nick pope saved that it was quite crazy here has he got the pace to outrun moments player? of course he does unfortunately the ball roll i'm actually going to rewind that back because like honestly i don't know how nick pope has, has stopped that with his foot i ball rolled the goalkeeper one on one it always works and yeah he stopped it but anyways the main point there of showing that was just show how rapid he is when it comes to you know through balls are overpowered but you still need to have the pace up front to get him behind so yeah now we have got him here so i was using him as the striker and neymar was the cam in the 4-2-3 once so bear that in mind pass it into neres and it's a really good goal there from neres but that was the assist for that match so this was actually all in the in the first game that we played on the weekend league. We only played a couple. If you want to watch us playing our remaining games with him up top, then follow us on Twitch. Um, the link is down below, but it's twitch.tv forward slash addo13. There he was teeing up Neymar and we actually destroyed this guy. Look at that drag back. Let's just rewind it. The, the timing of that drag back was like perfect because he just done a manual tackle there. We managed to beat him. I believe that's Goldson. And then we tee up Neymar and then he's just through it. And, you know, we got to take the take the mick a bit with the chip over Bouillon. So this is in the next game. We do a heel to heel to get out of a tight and acute angle straight away. And then before you know it, 10 seconds later, we managed to get the goal through Mbappe. This is actually from kickoff. So we was, I think we was winning 2-1 as you can see in the top left. This is from kickoff. Name, uh, Bulaya's on the ball, dribbling away. They can't touch me. Managed to get past Puyol again. Everyone seems to have him. Elastico him, destroyed him, sent him away into Neymar Scooton. Really good finish there. And then I think this is the last highlight before we sort of look at um, the stats and comparisons. Into Neymar, waiting for that run from Bulaya. Can't find it yet. Waiting, scoop turn around him. Neres dribbling around into Bulaya. We do a scoop turn and it's a banging goal. So I am going to show you how we fit in my team. But first of all, we'll look at him on Footman because we have got his estimated price here, which is 140k, which is dirt cheap, especially as the SBC that has just come out, just come out, Gareth Bale. I know it's a flashback card, not a team in the season one, but that's like 350k. And that's four star, three star to start off with. And it's got way worse stats. So that's great value there. Recommend doing them. Whether you've got the coins or the fodder, I actually done them for free. So it's five star, four star. He's got high, medium work rates. That's exactly what you want. And he's got lean body type. So that really helps as well. Obviously, body type is not the end of the world this year. Probably more important on FIFA 20, but it still helps to have uh, either unique or, or lean body type because they just feel more mobile on the ball. The taller players with like the high and average, they feel a little bit more stiff. So if we look at his stats, there's two chemistry styles, in my opinion, that I would recommend. And when I was streaming, I actually asked the chat. So the first one is the Hawk because it pretty much gives him max space. It gives him good shooting buff. And then obviously you're getting five strength and 10 aggression, which helps um, with the physicality of him. And then the alternative option is the Hunter. This gives you maximum pace. And then obviously you're getting 10 finishing instead of the five. Some people are not happy enough with 91 finishing. Maybe as a cam, it's okay. Maybe as a striker, you would want more finishing. But yeah, kind of depends up to you, but I will definitely recommend those two because you don't need to buff any of these. Some people are concerned about the, the reactions, which I spoke about in the video why I don't really think it's important. But obviously, if you're gonna go for something like a marksman, then you're leaving, you're neglecting the pace. I just don't think it is worth it, but that is completely up to you. Yeah, that is that. But now let's do a comparison between him and Neymar. So most 90% of people, maybe more, use a Hunter on Neymar. You could also use a Hawk as well. But let's just say for this purpose, we're going for the Hunter on both of them. We're not going to look at total win game stats because he's got more defenders. So that's just an irrelevant thing to look at. I don't even look at the ratings or the card stats because a lot of it is a lie. If someone's got really poor passing on their card, it could be because they've got low free kick accuracy, but high short passing. So I don't even bother looking at those. In terms of pace, they've both got 99, 99. Quick as you're going to go. Neymar's got the five star weak foot. But honestly, the, the weak foot four star is as good as you're going to get this year, to be honest. There ain't a huge difference. Three star, I wouldn't feel comfortable using that as a striker, but four star is 
completely fine. Last year it was more important. That's why Ben Yedder was used a lot more last year and Hyung Ming Son and stuff like that. Finishing 96, 97. Again, as good as you're gonna get. Shot power. This is the, for me, one of the most important stats on FIFA is shot power. It just helps so much to have a guy that can just shoot from anywhere and it just goes top spin. This is the only issue that I have with Gold Neymar, which is why I use him as a with a hawk as a cam because it gives him 90 shot power, gives him plus 10. But still, even with 90 or the 85, it's a huge difference. I mean, 99, that's why his shots just go in. They smash the crossbar and go in all the time. Those other stats are there, quite irrelevant. Now, we've got vision 88 and 90, really good. Helps with the passing, crossing is phenomenal, but 85 is still good enough. Even as a wing guard, striker, cam, not really necessary in those positions, mainly on the wing. Short passing, even better than Neymar, 89, but 87 is still really good. And then long passing is okay. And the passing stats are both really good for both of them. It's actually got better free kick accuracy as well. But look at this. Look at the curve. But I just want to see the traits at the moment if they show it here. So he's got outside foot shot trait and he's got the flare trait. Pretty much the same as Neymar there. They don't need the finesse shot trait anyway because they've both got crazy finesse shots. He's got 88 and it always goes in. And he's got 95, man. It's just absolutely mental. Mobility, lean body type, unique body type. Neymar's always going to feel better because he's got that body type. But 96, 96, he's got seven more balance. Reactions is 11 less. Ball control's the same. Two more dribbling and composure's as good as you're going to want for them. Bending's don't matter. And strength and aggression, they're both not great, but they're still glitchy. Whenever they get tackled, it goes back to them. You know, they, they still manage to wiggle away from these defenders just because they're smaller and a bit faster. And yeah, Stamina, he's got five more on Neymar. And obviously, Neymar is probably the pinnacle on FIFA. He's just unbelievable. And yeah, he is, what, half the price of him, technically, if you was to go buy coins, if you was to buy him. So now let's have a look at how I actually fit him in my team. And this is it here. So we have got a hybrid. This is a Road to Glory, by the way, just to let you know if you don't know. So we're using the strong link from Atal on a couple weak links to get him in. And this is how we're doing it. So I've got two CDMs. Atal was my striker for like since he come out, but now I'm having to rock him as a CDM with Renato Sanchez just because I, I've had enough of baby bullet. He's untradeable. I've used him for how many games have I used him for? Like 557. I've just had enough of this guy. He gives the ball away way too much. So this is how we're linking him in. The alternative was I get rid of Mbappe and do something like that, and then I get a team of the season hour, which I can't afford at the moment, or maybe Lise Malau. And that will allow me to play Yusuf Atal elsewhere. But I really am enjoying it like this. Obviously, the powerhouse helps with the short passing and defensive stats. So as you can see, I've got the Hunter on him and the Hawk on Neymar, as I was saying. Because this is a cam, I don't really feel like I need that extra pace. I'd rather have the extra shot power and physical stats that I get with it. But yeah, that's how I fit him in my team. We've only played two games. We are 2-0 to zero at the moment, but we're going to be streaming the rest. So do join us there. Watch us play, ask me questions, all of that good stuff. Just hang out in the stream, listen to the music. Two games, three goals and five assists from two foot champs games. This is as good as you're going to want. And these are what the stats look like with the hunt. Oh, absolutely crazy. But yeah, if you do complete him, you've got till Monday. Don't miss out. Worst case scenario, if you want to see what other SBCs are coming out, then, then wait till Monday comes and, and do them last minute. But yeah, don't miss out on this SBC. Let me know what you think of it. Smash the thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Help support your boy. Thanks so much for watching. It's been your boy, Liz. One more thing to say. See you.